So hello fellow Earthlings. This is Earthling 645546-3728. And I've had a little bit enough of people suggesting, namely Seth, nope, Joe Rogan, saying that, uh, and was it Elon as well? Saying that the mortality rate for COVID-19 was probably very, very low. And, um, yeah, I thought that uh, their ideas, that it was so low, and look how many people have probably been infected. So that means when you take the overall number of people who've actually died over this tremendous number of asymptomatic cases of people, um, the mortality rate's probably no worse than the flu. I'm really kind of annoyed to hear that now don't get me wrong i really kind of discounted this thing when it first started because i didn't understand what the what the implications of such a small amount of or percentage of mortality could actually do you know i for one thing they say they suggest that 20% of people with COVID-19 end up in the hospital. 20%. Forget the people that actually die. 20% of the people might end up hospitalized. That means if you have, let's say, 10 million people in your population and all of them get it, that means 2 million people could end up hospitalized. Nobody has two million beds available. You know, I don't even know, I didn't think about it, but that really should be the end of it. it. It's not even about who ends up dying. It's about the people who end up needing to go to the hospital, even if they don't end up on a ventilator or they don't end up in ICU they end up going to the hospital so yeah that should be the end of it really um even if let's say you have a population of 10 million people 1 million people get uh covid19 so yeah it's just 1 million people 200,000 people are going to need to use the hospital so that's probably a lot more than normal. You know, I don't know what the percentage is of people on for the flu that end up in hospital, but when you take into account, I think I've listened to a couple of videos where they were saying that um, the s most hospitals, especially in the U.S., are very close to capacity as it is. And I would have mentioned this before. If you have a hospital that's normally close to capacity because they don't want to have excess beds because that's expensive, what happens when you get anything, any kind of emergency like this? You're going to have people in the hallways. You're going to have people sitting down in the, in the emergency room waiting, maybe for hours, for days, to get a chance to go into the hallways to get a chance to get into a bed. So, yeah, crazy. I understand that Elon must be under some serious stress, but well, there's no but. Um, when you're under stress, you do crazy things. Four minutes, I've been talking for four minutes already. Anyway, um, in order to try to figure out what the actual mortality rate is, what I figured I would do is look at countries that have gotten COVID-19 under control and tried to see if I could figure out um, what the mortality rate in those countries is, if there was something in common with it. Because one of the things that people have, have been saying, especially Joe Rogan, was that there are probably all these people who have the disease that are asymptomatic. Well, in the countries that have it under control, they can't be all those people who are asymptomatic because they'd be passing it on to other people that's what under control means so it means that they really do have close to zero people with the disease 
period. Otherwise, the numbers would be going up or the number of cases that they have would be going up even if the mortality wasn't going up or something like, like that. So basically I was looking for countries that did a lot of tests so it's not to say that even amongst these asymptomatic people maybe there might be a scenario where it's just circulating around people who happen to be asymptomatic and you know nobody's actually having to go to the hospital. So what I was looking for was um, places that seemed to have it under control. There weren't very many deaths. There were a lot of tests and there were not that many cases. Like they had pretty much um, overreached, um, had, they're pretty much at the end of their corona wave unless there's some kind of imported cases. So the places that I looked at were Taiwan, Australia, South Korea, the UAE, and Israel, because because all of them, again, seem to have done a lot of testing. Um, relative to the amount of testing they did, they had very few actual cases. So, you know, you'll see what I'm talking about. So, for Taiwan, they have 23 million people. They had 66,000 tests and they had 440, 440 actual cases and I'm not going to actually say the deaths as compared to the as compared to the cases I'm just going to give a percentage the percentage of mortality rate that it came out to be was 1.36% then there's Australia Australia has a population of a 25 million people. They did a much better uh, number with the testing, which is 795,000 tests. They had 6,929 cases, and they had a percentage of 6.39% mortality rate. Then there's South Korea with 660,000 tests. And sorry, I got it out of order. They had 51, they have a population of 51 million people. They had uh, 10,840 cases and their mortality rate was 2.36%. Then we had the UAE. They have a population of 9.63 million people. Uh, they did 1,200,000 tests. They had 17,417 cases and they ended up with 1. Point, I think it's 66 percent or it could be 86 percent. I think it's 1.66 percent. And then finally I looked at Israel with 8.8 .8 million people. They did 451,000 tests. They had 16,000 odd cases and they had 1.5% mortality rate. So I didn't actually average it all out, but it seems to be the case that the mortality rate looks to be at about 1.5%. Given that I didn't look at the actual curve, of what these countries are have but um, they all seem to have uh, like a, a huge number of tests as compared to the actual cases that they ended up with so that should have caught all of those you know asymptomatic people quote unquote that we were all worrying about that's gonna make the number there's so many asymptomatic people so that that uh, ratio of testing to actual cases should have caught pretty much um, anybody who had any sniffles or even the slightest symptoms or just people who were contact traced. They should have been able to track those people down. And another annoying thing that Joe Rogan and even Elon Musk would have said is that the idea that some countries would be uh, overestimating how many people were dying of COVID-19 
um, in order to maybe as a result of sloppiness I've heard from other people that they're trying to scare people to inflate the numbers these countries that are trying to show that they have overcome COVID I don't think they have any reason to overinflate the numbers because then they're just going to scare their population rather than looking like they have overcome the disease, the disease. So I've, I've seen, if you look at it, I've seen that in some countries, for example, like the UK, it's a crazy number. Like they look like they have 10% mortality rate. Um, worldwide, I think it's around 5% mortality rate. But uh, I think that depending on the level of care that you might have, the amount of hospital capacity that you have, the, the type of medical system that you have, if it's single payer or multi payer, the amount of testing that you have available in order to track down the disease and control it, um, I think all of these can come into increasing the actual mortality rate because as well as other things like uh, the number of senior citizens that you have if they're all in homes as opposed to maybe living in their own home with their family it's easier for for them a number of sickly people in one spot to just catch it and you know end up unfortunately deceased because of it so I think a lot of these things can can skew the numbers but again what I was trying to do is to look forward or look at countries where it seems to be over for now and did a lot of testing in order to explain all of these asymptomatic people that are supposed to be skewing the numbers and I'm you know maybe this is too small a sample but I feel that it's a good sample considering um, these countries uh, seem to have gotten this thing under control anyway guys you can wish me luck um, you can like unlike comment subscribe and or share and of course you can do nothing peace